These are the fears a narcissist has that make them fall after losing you. Narcissists cunningly scheme for the downfall of their victims, aiming for their utter destruction. They thrive on creating dependency whereby their victims become trapped with the ultimate desire for them to reach a point of no return. If the victim's demise leads to self-inflicted harm, the narcissist sees it as an added bonus, enabling them to manipulate and garner sympathy for a new source. The real question you should ask yourself is, what do you want from this breakup? Your future awaits, filled with the potential for happiness and contentment. Granted, it won't be easy, and overnight success is not guaranteed. It takes time. But now at least, the choice is yours. Welcome to another video, and I hope things are going well for you. Without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. The countless compelling reasons why it is imperative to sever all emotional ties with a narcissist once and for all. Even when they are physically absent, narcissists have a way of keeping us stuck in the past. It is vital for everyone to recognize the magnitude of this situation. Cutting off all contact may not guarantee your escape from their manipulative influence. Regardless of how you try to bid farewell to a narcissist or how they discard you, the fact remains that they will always carry their narcissistic traits. In their eyes, you might still belong to them even after the breakup. When dealing with a narcissist, you can expect one of three outcomes. The ideal scenario involves individuals picking themselves up, moving forward, and appreciating the newfound freedom they have gained. However, breaking free from the mental and emotional chains can prove to be more challenging for some. Today's discussion is primarily focused on those who continue to harbor romantic feelings for their narcissist, as well as those consumed by resentment and animosity towards them. These groups are the ones who still bear emotional attachments to the narcissist. This level of devotion and emotional investment is quite common in narcissistic relationships, where victims are often consumed by the manipulation of their tormentors. This is where we can pinpoint the root of the problem more precisely. Whether you fall into case two or case three, if you still hold emotional investment in the narcissist, it becomes irrelevant. Let's begin by examining the concept of love. Despite the numerous flaws of narcissists, they can still arouse feelings of love in some individuals. Hope or faith that the narcissist will return or reconnect persists. These individuals may have experienced a traumatic relationship with the narcissist, yet find themselves enticed back into their web. In either case, you may find yourself dwelling on the positive aspects of the time spent with the narcissist. During the intense love-bombing phase, you felt cherished and valued, making it difficult to comprehend how quickly the person who seemed like the perfect life partner could transform into your worst nightmare. Shifting one's perspective on the narcissist is crucial, and it all begins with acceptance. Recognizing that they are not who they claim to be is a significant step in breaking free from trauma bonds. Acknowledging the toxic nature of the narcissist and still harboring feelings for them indicates a traumatic connection that needs to be severed. To avoid falling into the trap of rationalizing or denying the narcissist's abusive behavior, it can be helpful to keep a journal where you document all the hurtful things they have done or said, along with how those actions made you feel. Revisiting these entries when feelings of nostalgia arise can provide a reminder of their true character. Seeking the assistance of a trained counsellor can also aid in processing the feelings of hurt and betrayal, ultimately leading to closure and healing for some. In the midst of it all, it is vital to prioritise self-care, engage in activities that bring joy, and appreciate the presence of loved ones who add value to life, even if it feels like going through the motions at times. This approach will help regain a sense of dignity and create psychological space from the narcissist. 
keeping a notebook dedicated solely to positive and uplifting thoughts and feelings about oneself, loved ones, and personal goals can foster self-love and personal growth. Now let's explore the topic of hatred. Bear with me. Holding on to resentment towards the narcissist is more detrimental to our own well-being than it is to theirs. Constantly anticipating the narcissist's actions can lead to anxiety and paranoia. The persistent exposure to stress and negative energy can weaken our neurological and immune systems, ultimately causing physical and mental ailments. In essence, our repulsion towards the narcissist mirrors the intensity of falling in love. Both love and hate elicit strong emotions within the human mind. Once we have reached a state of complete mental and emotional exhaustion, the narcissist no longer finds us useful. Their objective becomes influencing our thoughts and emotions. It is crucial to reach a point where we are aware of their existence, but no longer attach any emotional significance to it. We no longer find them intriguing. By refusing to acknowledge their presence, thoughts and actions, we unveil their true nature to them. It is essential to recognize that spending time with narcissists can be draining. Establishing distance is the first step in breaking free from their control. It is not about enthusiasm, but finding a sense of apathy towards their influence. I truly value your patience and engagement, and I assure you that I will strive to deliver informative and comprehensible responses in my upcoming videos. Please feel free to share your thoughts and contribute to the ongoing discussion by leaving a comment below. Thank you for devoting your attention and investing your time in watching this content. It is greatly appreciated.